Hi everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I just got a copy of Maria Trolley's book Flora because her new one, Luna, is coming out soon. So I thought I'd have a quick look through it with you. I've not really looked at this yet, so I thought we'd do a quick flip through and just see what we think. So as usual, it's a beautiful hardback book with the black cover and the gold spine like all the others with a beautiful gold uh, print on it, foiling, so that's nice. Black end pages, always very pretty. And a uh, little butterfly there, very, very nice. Now obviously this is a double-sided uh, page, so I wouldn't be using my markers in it. This book belongs to, so we'll leave it like this so we can see both sides of the pages. Um, I always find that her work is so beautiful and I don't want to ruin her book, so it takes me ages to actually have enough guts really to colour in them. I still haven't coloured in Botanicum, um, which I do have, but um, I just wanted to have a quick look. So this, this is the sort of thing I would do because it's quite simple. I'm not very good at cats, but that's quite a nice one. <laughs> a little mouse in a flower. I like those sorts. It's little owl chicks. I think these girls are very pretty. I, I really like this book. I'm really looking forward to seeing Luna as well. I mean, and that one's just a very simple flower picture. And I mean, they're just such such beautiful artwork. You don't, you know. I, I do know which one in this one I'm going to cut first. I've already decided, and I'll let you know when I see it. I have a quick flip through. I haven't really looked, so that might change, but. Uh, so this is the one I want to colour first. I just think it's beautiful. I think it's sweet. It's a little tree house with a little clothes on the line. I just think that's really nice. So it's that one, a little sleeping girl in the, the hammock. And then sometimes you get the black page backgrounds, which are really nice as well. I mean, look at the detailing on this. This is amazing. So, yeah, scary. Like this one's with the lilies, little frog. And that's really pretty as well. But these are just absolutely gorgeous pictures that oh, take a lifetime to colour the whole book and her books because they are beautiful. I mean, the one good thing is, I'll show you at the end, she does put what flowers and plants she's used. And there's also some strawberries there. This is absolutely gorgeous. And some foxgloves. That's what I'd call them anyway. I just love it with a simple flower picture here. It's very nice. And sleeping. Very pretty. That's a nice one. And they're all beautiful. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? That reminds me of the book, The Flower Fairies. Just stunning, little girl holding a cat. And again, this is such a simple picture that you could do. This is really nice. So it's nice that there are some simple pictures as well as the, the harder and more detailed ones. So you can like break yourself in gently. Yeah, look, there's a little girl sleeping on a lily pad. I love it. I think it's fantastic. And you get this little hedgehog, and you get these in-depth ones with little gnomes sitting on top of the stump in his house. Oh, and look at that. Oh, the field mess. That's gorgeous. The fox. It's beautiful. I do like these books. I just think they're so beautifully done. There's something about these hardback colouring books that they're more than just a colouring book. They are something to keep. You know, you could colour in it and then just put it out and show people the beautiful artwork from time to time. You know. Can't turn the page now. There we go. 
uh, one of those uh, black backwards. Again. So cute with the little ladders. Oh, now that's a nice one. So it's surrounded by the sunflowers. But can you imagine colouring in all those sunflowers? Oh, it would take forever. Yeah. And that's nice to see an older, an older woman. Oak, oak lady, oak tree lady. It's a little bit older. You can tell that by the lines, but it's really nice to see. There we go. Try to get my sleeve out of the way so you can actually see the pictures slightly better. I'm sure most of you have either seen or got this book, so I, I just thought it'd be nice to have a quick look through it together. You know, and it's very it is a beautiful book. That's quite a nice one. Just the leaves are just so pretty, just fancy colouring some plants in. I mean, look at that little bunny and the deer. Oh, and that is, this one's very nice. I'm getting a big cramp in my shoulder from the way I'm sitting, but it's uh, fine. Little rabbits there. So cute. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin. <laughs> I think this is lovely. It's an angel. So this is what takes you through the seasons, this book, really. And that's what's nice. And here we have all the different plants, and names of the plants and things, and the birds and the insects as well. So you could look it up and see um, what colours they are. You could Google their images, have a look at them and see what they are and then um, colour them correctly or you can just colour them fantastical because there is no wrong or right in colouring. So that's a very quick flip through of Flora by Maria Trolley. I'm very glad to add that to my collection. I hope you've enjoyed this very quick flip through, flip through and my thoughts on this book and I'll see you in the next one.